guys it's your boy d valor back with some more boxing billy joe saunders has said he's giving golovkin till friday to sign the contract for that big unification fight that he was talking about which i've talked about in my earlier vid which billy joe saunders wants but the big question that is on my mind is billy joe saunders what are you doing I don't think you can beat Golovkin. I think you will get knocked out. And based on your last performance against Akham, that guy who was a fringe uh, mandatory for you, your performance was terrible. You even said it yourself. With that kind of performance, I've seen people on British level fighting better than that. He said that uh, it's because he's had ring rust and he's been out the ring for 12 months. But that is no excuse. If you're taking a fight, you should be fit. Based off of that performance, I don't even think he would have a chance against Golovkin. And I'm not the biggest Golovkin supporter. I will tell you, I'm a realist, you know what I mean? I saw Golovkin, people are saying that, oh, uh, how can you give Kill Brook so much um, credit for fighting Golovkin when he lost and he got wounded? And you know what I say? I say, yeah, he did get, he did lose. You can't give credit for someone for, for an L. He lost, he got wounded, but he made... Golovkin, look, he took away that invincible aura that Golovkin had. So ever since that, people weren't as scared as they used to be of Golovkin. And therefore, when Daniel Jacobs fought him, he the blueprint was already out there to beat him. That being said, I don't think that even though the blueprint is out there, that Billy Joe Saunders would be able to beat Golovkin. Because what he was saying um, in... In my last video, go check it out. He was talking about oh how uh, he's been waiting for him to get a bit old, and uh, once his reaction time's gone, he he wants to really have uh, take him now. But the thing is, power is the last thing to go in in a, in a fighter. And like I've seen recent pictures of Golovkin, and even though I'm looking at him thinking, yeah, he might even be getting old, I don't think he's got one more fight in him. He's got one more big fight in him, if anything, or he's got a few more. And that is none other than Canelo Alvarez. So that is the big fight that he wants to, that Golovkin wants to have. And that is the fight which Tom Lofer and Golovkin seem is the interested on. Because really and truly, why would Golovkin fight Billy Joe Saunders? Because really and, tr really and truly, everyone in the boxing community is, is hyping about Golovkin at the moment. Even boxing um, Golovkin fanboys will say that. He easily beat Daniel Jacobs that night where, I don't know why, because the fight that I watched and the fight that a lot of people watched, I saw Daniel Jacobs outboxing uh, Golovkin. I gave Golovkin four rounds and that was the first four rounds. After that, I gave them to Daniel Jacobs. So, I don't know what those, those judges were thinking, but the decision is done. But a lot of people see Golovkin as like pound for pound best fighter ever. But um, I think the pound for pound best fighter... Um, from Ring Magazine is Andre Ward so he's not even that but it doesn't really matter everyone's still talking about GGG so he's still regarded as one of the best fighters of the mid in the middleweight division Billy Joe Saunders um, based on his past performances I don't think he would even be able to beat I don't, with that performance I don't even think he'd be able to beat um, Eubanks in a rematch in that shape because Eubanks, even you can say whatever you want about Eubanks, but he's always in shape. So anyway, yeah, he would. He wants to fight um, Golovkin, and I doubt that is going to happen. Because why would Golovkin, who's rated so highly um, and has all these belts, why would he? He doesn't really want Billy Joe Saunders' WBO belt. Billy Joe Saunders says that he wants this belt because he it's a unification to unify the division, but. Golovkin is already regarded as the, uh, the undisputed um, best champion in the middleweight division. He hasn't, he doesn't need any more accolades from the fans. The best things that he could do, Golovkin could do, was have a rematch with um, Daniel Jacobs. If he was to beat Daniel Jacobs convincingly, which I don't think he could do, because uh, even he thought he lost that fight. If he could um, outbox Daniel Jacobs or even knock him out. And then he could have a, um, if he was to have that rematch and he won, then he would look good. If he was to fight um, Jamal Charlo, who uh, who is coming up and will soon be one of his mandatories, whoa, whoa, whoa. If he fought him and beat him convincingly, then a lot of people will be 
I think if I saw him defeat those two guys, I'd be like, yeah, GGG is the best because those are big names and they're very, they're like elite fighters, you know what I mean? So Billy Joe Saunders talking like he's in the elite fighters category. Nah, I think he should focus on his own mandatory fighters, which this is this is what <laughs> which is what makes me laugh and makes me think. It's like, well, you're talking about fighting Golovkin, but you've got a mandatory mandatory fight that's coming up, which is serious. Avan till till Kurt size is big, strong. He's got like a Tyson style. And he's been tearing through his opponents. I watched his fights against Anthony Douglas, who was a young prospect coming up, and he obliterated him. And like I thought that um they were gonna throw in the towel in the ninth round, but they let him go to the tenth round, and he just got outworked. I think in the corner they were like saying to <laughs> um um Avantador, kissed his trainer before he came out in the tenth round, like, and then he was like Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, because he knew. That <laughs> this guy kind of does fire like Mike Tyson with those hooks and those uppercuts and just that consistent pressure on you. I don't think in the shape that Billy Joe Saunders was, he, I don't think he's going to be able to even last 10 rounds like Antonio Douglas. And Antonio Douglas likes to fight with that style. He, he does well against taller guys. And Billy Joe Saunders is not that tall. So uh, he would just be getting outworked. But um, in a recent interview, he says that if anyone thinks that by my past performance that I will be like that next time, they're mistaken. And you know what? Okay, you're back in shape. But when you are in shape, you're not that big anyway. You're a boxer and you do well with your boxing. But against someone like Golovkin especially, who's going to be bigger than you, even when you're in shape, there's a chance that you'll get knocked out. Against someone like Avantil Kurtzis, who's got a big frame and quite muscly and stocky, you can try and outbox him, but he he can f fight like that for 12 rounds, you know? So, can you hold him back with your jab for long enough before he knocks you the hell out? So, yeah, that's the what, what's on it. I don't think this, this fight's going to happen between him and Golovkin. I think Golov um, Billy Joe's on his dreaming. I think you should focus more on his mandatory challenges. Well, everyone's trying to shout out Golovkin right now, and he keeps their name in the limelight, you know what I mean? So, in that aspect, in that respect, I understand what he's doing but even if he's willing to fight him I don't think it's going to happen because he's going to fight Canelo in September and you can't afford to get an injury or anything like that against Billy Joe Saunders even if he was to knock him out in, in one round bang him out in one round he'd rather focus on Canelo because that's a big 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 fight big big payday as well so anyway yeah Billy Joe Saunders is given GGG till Friday to sign the contract I don't think it's going to happen he should focus on his next mandatory challenge so yeah that's my opinion what what do you guys think drop it in the comments what do you think about billy joe saunders and his chances against golovkin who do you think he should fight and what do you think of the middleweight division because there's loads of names going on there jamal charlo is coming up you've got his mandatory coming up you've got so many things in the middleweight division right now i say i think it's one of the exciting divisions in the boxing right now so anyway billy joe saunders what's your stance on him uh, drop it in the comments if you're watching this video make sure you give me a like and subscribe subscribe to the channel for more vi videos it's your boy d valo and i'm on to the next one